Hey guys, how are you? It's John Brewer here with uh, Azor Brewer Restaurant Advisors, South Florida's restaurant guy, also on YouTube. I have videos, interviews, stuff like that you can check out if you like. Anyway, I want to do a quick video today about a, um, an article I just read. Uh, it was put out by the ICSC dealing with uh, food and beverage, and I thought there was some pretty interesting stuff. There's a new phrase that's going around. It's called the halo effect when it comes to restaurants. And what the halo effect means is that um, when you put restaurants and food and beverage establishments inside of a shopping center, you increase dwell time, you increase traffic, and you increase spend. Um, so, for example, in Hammerson's Dining at West Quay in United Kingdom, the food court extension in there, uh, increased dwell times by four minutes. Uh, four minutes. BFD, right? Big deal. What does that mean? Well, I'll tell you what it translated in. That translated into an extra 55 million in sales, 5.5 uh, million in rent, assuming a 10% occupancy rate, of course, and the overall value of the property, about 87 million of potential value for the property. Obviously, it's a very big property. Um, amid intensified competition from e-commerce and new projects, a focus on food and experiential retailing can boost performance of mature existing shopping centers. So another example is in Shanghai, the Westgate Mall. They increased their food service tenants, which a lot of people are doing right now, from 17% to 35% of their retail space. That's doubling the, the food and beverage imprint at the shopping center. And what was the result? Well, the result was overall uh, revenue increased by 5%, and even more important, uh, vacancy rates went down from 9.7% to 6.5%. So implementing a food offer with scale and quality for a mixed-use property can also create a social hub for a local community. So you're not just thinking in terms of retail and numbers, but also um, is it a gathering place for people, you know, especially in, in mixed-use developments, a gathering place for people to... Um, to hang out so successful food service is as much about social interaction as it is about the food or the drink uh, the shopper mood improves and we all know that a shopper who is happy is more likely to spend money so I just wanted to get that to you I know uh, you know with the changing face of retail with Amazon and everything restaurants are becoming more and more uh, important to the overall tenant mix and uh, here's some statistics called the halo effect and when restaurants go into shopping centers, they increase the dwell time, they increase the uh, traffic count, and they also increase the uh, spend. So I think those are all vitally important things as we go forward here. Everybody have a great day. John Brewer, South Florida Restaurants Guy. Uh, Beth Azor, John Brewer, Azor Brewer Restaurant Advisors, working in South Florida. If you have second gen space or if you're a restaurateur looking for second gen space, that's all we do. We locate, we evaluate, we negotiate. Everybody have a great day. Bye-bye.